Okay. So I'm going to ask you, uh, to do some challenge. Okay. Count one to ten in Indonesia. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh, delapan, sembilan, sepuluh. Wow. <laughs> Halo Hapers Bazar Indonesia, saya Putri Marino dan saya sedang berada di Cannes Film Festival bersama L'Oreal Paris. And I'm having a very special guest with me today, Catherine Langford. Hey Catherine. Hi. Okay, so I'm going to ask you some questions. So yeah, let's get started. How does it feel to be in Cannes Film Festival? Well, it's my second year at Cannes Film Festival and I'm very excited to be back here with my L'Oreal Paris family. What inspire you to pursue acting at a very young age? I've always loved acting. I've always been very creative, but it, it actually took me quite a while to to really pursue acting as a career. My parents are doctors and I didn't really grow up with the film industry. I grew up in a small town in Australia called Perth. So it was something that I came to organically and it wasn't until Maybe I was, an, I mean, I always did it, but it wasn't until I, I was an adult that I really decided that I was going to go for it. Have you ever faced any challenges in movie industry and how did you overcome them? Oh, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, a great, that's a great question. I mean, life's full of challenges, right? And you got to figure out how to, how to get through them. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think, I think you have a similar approach to, to anything like you do in life, right? When, when you're faced with a challenge, you just try and see what you can do, what's in your power to change. And if there is something, then you try to do it in a way that's respectful and kind. But I think as long as you're respectful and kind to other people, you can, you can get through anything. As we know, we have this light on women's work, right? What do you think about this work and why you think this work is important? I mean, you talked about challenges before, and I think knowing your worth is a really important thing when being faced with challenges. And, you know, one of the challenges that we do face in the world is inequality, whether that's in the film industry or just in life. But what's amazing about the Lights on Women Award is, um, is that it really gives a spotlight to female stories and female creators. Right now, it's about, I think, 17% of major films that are directed by women, but we make up over 50% of the population. And, um, you know, our stories are what bind us, they're what inspire us, they unite us. Um, so we have to see those stories and we have to see that representation on screen. So, you know, the L'Oreal Paris Lights and Women Award is an amazing award because it really gives an opportunity um, to empower and support and lift up those kinds of stories. Okay, next is very important question. What's next for Catherine Ling? Lunch. <laughs> Agree, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'll, lunch. No, I'll answer that. <laughs> we're in France. I'm I, I love I love food. So I'm in we're in France. So I'm very excited mm. for that. But um in terms of, of work and life yes. <laughs> um, I've just been working on a series um, called The Venere of Samantha Bird I also it's I don't think it's a secret that I've been working on things outside of acting um, which I will share very soon I've watched your series before on Netflix oh. 13 reasons why yeah, I love that series thank you very you much. did amazing Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm from Indonesia and have you ever seen any Indonesian films or series before? I'm sure I must have, but actually growing up in Australia, mm. part of our curriculum is learning Indonesian. So okay. I, I can't speak, I wish I could speak it. Mm. I think I can count to 10. Okay. Yeah. Can you say hello, apa kabar? I'm so nervous. I don't want to mess it up. Apa, uh, apa kabar? Apa kabar? Yes, you did amazing. Hello, apa, apa kabar? kabar? You say it so beautifully, and you got a rrr. Apa, <laughs> apa kabar? Apa kabar? Yes, apa kabar? Apa kabar? Okay, next question. My last two questions. How do you define beauty? How I define beauty has changed over the years. Um, you know, I, I think that your definition of beauty and what you perceive as beautiful changes as, as you change. And that, I think at its core, is the definition of beauty. It's being able to see um, value and worth and knowing that you're worth it no matter what stage of your life you're in. What's one beauty product that you swear by? I love to do so many looks, but mm -hmm. I have to say, I have to say three. Mm -hmm. The first I would do a mascara. 
The second is skincare. And the third is lipstick. Yes. I think that if you have a strong lipstick, like a color riche, yes. red lipstick. A red lipstick. It's yes. really, yeah. That's Agreed. a very powerful color, but you can also use it throughout the day because it doesn't dry your lips. I don't know if you mm. found that, but the formula is really nice. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we're done. And thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>